Follow my keep profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Still out the College Football 25 Cheese, as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys what's probably my favorite offensive formation to use right now and probably my number one most used play out of my Georgia offensive ebook that I just put out. Uh, but before I do, if you guys want to see more offensive gameplay videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, like button, let me know in the comment section. If you guys need more help or more money plays, you can download this or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. Now, before I get into the video, I do want to try to set the record straight on some comments that I've been getting in my comment section lately, asking why I'm only using the Georgia Bulldogs team in my gameplays. And if you guys don't know or aren't aware, when you play this game mode, which is online head-to-head -head essentially in Madden, they call it the road to the college football playoffs, you can only use the playbook of the team. And since the only ebook that I put out this year was Georgia's, if I want to show off Georgia's ebook, I have to use the Georgia team. So I really don't have much of a choice there. Of course, I'd love to use other teams. I don't want to just use George all the time but that's how EA set it up I hope that they eventually change it but until they do I have no choice but to use Georgia until my next ebook comes out which probably will be Alabama which means guess what I'll be using Alabama in this game mode so for the people that are ignorant to the fact that you can't change playbooks I'm not really sure what to tell you guys and it's also not like I'm using Georgia against Ball State pretty much every game I put out is against another tier 1 team because I only play against tier 1 teams and at the start of this game my opponent was looking like a problem As the tight end for Ohio State is an absolute cheat code, he gets all the way down to the one yard line just the second play of the game before diving in with Judkins on the very next play. Damn it! And I'm thinking I'm in for a long game. So I'm definitely going to have to score a lot of points. And this may surprise some of you, but I actually like to use multiple offensive formations when I play this game. As College Football 25 feels much more polished and balanced. And this game feels like it's more about making the right reads and stick skill more than just using money plays. With all that being said, the offense I'm going to show you guys today is out of the gun wing slot week. But on the very first play, I try to make such reads. It looks like my opponent's sitting in a cover three. So I simply put this receiver on a streak to try to beat him up the seam. And that ultimately cost me the first drive as I try to go for it on fourth and seven. <laughs> And we turn the ball over on downs, but my opponent doesn't have it very long. Nope. As we start to figure him out on defense, and he tries to cheese me with Judkins' spin move. Sit your ass down. Before trying to beat me deep. Gotcha, bitch. And giving the ball right back with a nice time user pick. Early in the games, I'm not trying to push the ball deep. I like to use more of a dink and dunk style of offense. So a lot of times I'll use the deuce close because you can use plays like the double drags, which typically beats just about any man or zone. As I see the drags clear the middle, I throw it to the check down over the middle for a big catch and run for a first down. And that's the majority of this drive as I mostly am checking it down to the running back before using some fake motion so I could throw it to the tight end over the middle on a tight end screen that totally catches my opponent off guard for the first. As I really just want to build up composure and get my opponent to start thinking short routes before I eventually tack them deep. This formation has an entire series of plays where the tight end motions, and that's going to be one of the schemes that I use the most. In this formation, when the tight end goes in motion, all I really have to do is watch to see if the defender follows him. If he does follow him, I know it's a man coverage and the screen won't get open. But if he doesn't follow him, it typically means it's a zone and I'll have a blocking advantage for some easy catch and run yards. I also like to typically watch the cornerback over the top just to make sure that he doesn't drop down. And if he drops back like he does here, I have a very easy catch and run underneath. And I know it's not a huge game, but I'm staying ahead of schedule, which is something that's very important when it comes to composure in college football 25 as i find the team's gonna play much better over time if you get their composure up slowly with dink and dunk passes like i am here so i used a very similar concept with all these crossing routes pulling the user out of the middle of the field before taking the check down to the running back to get another first down and then going right back to the running back on a screenplay before making the user miss and scoring to tie the game Back on defense, he's trying to carry the load with Judkins, so we get into a third and five where he has to pass. And since he only needs five yards, we decide to hard flat. Got he. As he tries to squeeze it between two zones, and we're going the other way with a pick six to take the lead. 
Now up a score, we're going to send the dogs after him, literally, with a defense that we put out just yesterday. I'm not going to go over here, but if you want to see more about this blitz, I made a video about it just yesterday. So I'll leave a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. As we get pressure up the A-gap once again, and he tries to force a ball deep. But we use her that and get both feet in bounds to take the ball back with only 35 seconds left before half. So now that we gotta get down the field in a hurry, I'm gonna use my favorite play in the motion PA verticals out of the gun wing slot week one more time. And there's really two setups I like for this play. You can run it as is, but I often like to use the corner route by simply putting the B receiver on a streak. As this will pull back any deep zones in the area and the A tight end on the corner route will often get open against man or zone. You can run it just like this as this play action is helpful, but I find it's best to put the running back in an out route and motion across the formation so you have an easy high low read. The only real difference here is that this out route will beat man and zone where the original route will only beat zone. But you can also run it as is as this motion tight end a lot of times will draw the user's attention, allowing for this deeper post route behind him to get open as he splits the safeties for a very very easy one play touchdown to take a 21-7 lead. After that, I just decided to blitz my opponent's brains in, and he's had enough. See ya! On to game two, and we're gonna face Ohio State again. So like I was saying earlier, expect an ebook from Ohio State very soon. And since it's a new game and I'm on the road this time, we're gonna try to build our composure once again just by using dink and dunk passes, as this swing route to the running back is absolutely dirty and gets me yards every single time. And this is how we play pretty much every game as we take the tight end on an out route in the next play, just making sure that we slowly, methodically get our way down the field, building our composure, and making our opponent drop his eyes to shorter routes. I get the third and long on the next series, so I have to go back to that motion PA verts. And this is the perfect look since there's no linebacker here in the middle of the field, so I can throw it over the top of it. And even though he's in an obvious cover three, this route still gets open, splitting the cornerback and the safety, as we almost get a touchdown the very next play, getting tackled at the two yard line. It was right! Right there! But we punched it on the ground with a stretch on the very next play anyway. But this guy's gonna make it a much tougher ball game as he hits me with back-to-back -back screens to get to midfield on the first play, and then almost scoring on the second play as he gets all the way inside the 10. With most of it coming off of broken tackles, before he hits me with an inside zone the next two plays to finish the drive. Ah, you mother Back on offense, we're going right back to that PA verticals play as there's no linebacker over here once again. Only this time, apparently, they auto-substituted an offensive lineman, so we don't get much. And now that I'm on a hash mark, I like to use this RPO alert bubble a lot, as all you really have to do is watch the defender in front of the bubble screen, and if he drops back like he does here, just throw it out and get an easy catch and run underneath. So at this point, I'm really just looking for space. As I come out in the RPO again on the next play, but I can see, once again, no linebacker. So when I motion this guy across, I'm just reading between the B receiver, which gets caught up, and the Y receiver gets wide open down the middle once again for another one play touchdown. But this guy's not going away that easy as he hits me with a screen on the very next play before he starts dotting up my hard flats with corner routes over the top as he goes down the field in a hurry and gets inside a scoring range with 40 seconds left before hitting me with a double drags concept Damn it! to tie the game. And it would have stayed that way, but I tried to hit that same cover three seam concept that I used earlier in the video. Only this time it gets picked off, and my opponent takes it the other way for a touchdown to take a lead going into half. God damn it! He gets the ball in the second half, so I really need a stop. On the next play, I send the house, and luckily they get in the running back's way before he can get out on the pattern. We send the blitz on the next play, and this time we drop him for a five-yard loss before he tries that screen pass one more time, and a couple of broken tackles makes him almost get it before we stop him on fourth and six. And now, since he's been hitting us with a lot of corner routes, we decide to do a Mabel concept on that side, and he tries for that corner route anyway. <laughs> only to throw an interception. From here I got plenty of time but I need to score so I go back to that RPO play but I make a poor read and still get a couple of yards. I switch back to the deuce close as this halfback swing play is absolutely dirty and Gary tees me yards every single time I use it since the blocking is so good. We make one guy miss and get an easy first down inside the 30. And then we're going to try to score from here as we go back to the motion verticals one more time. It looks like he's in cover three possibly and the tight end gets stuck once again but he still gets open right over the middle. From short yards like this I go back to that swing and I really didn't have much there, but I make a guy miss to get me down to the two once again. I try that play again on the next play, but it's bagged, making me think that I'm going to have to use something else to get it in on third and goal from around the four. So I call a hurry up, and now I'm going to have to make a read. I try motioning this guy out, thinking that maybe I can put him on a speed out route, but when I see that the cornerback drops back, I know that all I really have to do is put him into a smoke screen, and I can throw it underneath, and I should be able to catch and run for that touchdown. Do it! 
Now tied up with essentially just the fourth quarter to go, my opponent is still trying to hit me with those screen plays. And I chase the wide receiver on the next play just to see him go the other way with the running back, but we're all over these now. But he calls a third straight screen play, and this time he gets the blocks as he gets to midfield with only about two and a half minutes left. And now he seems content with dinking and dunking and trying to run the clock out just to kick a field goal. And he uses my own concept against me, but Judkins is on a different level. So on third and two, he used the run commit glitch to hold in a fourth and one, and this is pretty much the game on the line. As if he makes his first down, he'll probably run the clock out on me and kick a field goal to win the game. So now with the game on the line, I really only have to make good reads, as on the next play, I try to do that money play setup one more time where I put the running back in an out route and motion him across, only to find that he's in a man coverage, and the running back should beat that pretty easily, but you can see he shuts it down, and that's because you have to make good reads in college football 25, so on the next play, if he's in a man coverage once again, we're going to put the running back on a Texas route, but then I notice that since I'm to the wide side of the field, that I could probably beat this man defender to the outside, so I put that streak on a 10-yard out route, knowing that if I throw it in the break i should have an easy first down on third and eight and that's exactly what happens is he runs a cover three we get a bad accuracy throw but we still make the play in bounds and since he seems to be running a lot of zone we're going to go ahead and go back to that rpo play we just want to make sure we flip it to the wide side of the field as it'll give us more catch and run space and once i do i can immediately tell that this linebacker is giving up way too much leverage to be a man coverage so we make an easy pre-snap read and flip it out into the flat for an easy catch and run that gets us in the field goal range from here we go back to the verticals play as you can run this to the short side of the field and it'll often help to get the tight end open on the corner route and even though the running back was wide open i try to go for the deeper play and i get a bad accuracy throw out of bounds even though i wasn't in the red or anything like that but on third and ten we're gonna go right back to it and do it again as we have faith in this play especially this corner route as he switches the cover two and the tight end gets open right over the top of it for a big first down inside of the 10. From here, he could just kick a field goal, but I don't necessarily trust it as I've missed a lot of field goals in College Football 25. So we hit him with the stretch run one more time. As I leave my opponent only three seconds left on the clock. How about new? Enough time for a Hail Mary, but we get a user lurk to end the game. So that's this video. If you guys want to see more offensive tip videos, including a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game from this very playbook, make sure to click the link on screen. And that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.